Well, the irresponsible trolley company is at it again. There's another train on the loose, and this time we have pirates and ninjas down on the tracks. Fortunately, there is a pirate at one switch station and a ninja at another switch station, and they can influence where the train ultimately goes. Here are the details on the situation. Pirates only want to save pirates. Ninjas only want to save ninjas. And when the ninja moves, he sees what the pirate has previously chosen to do. Today's puzzle is a little bit spicier than your traditional trolley problem. You are the pirate. You have time to remove any two people from the track before making your choice on where to send the train. The puzzle is to figure out which two people you should remove to maximize your welfare in this interaction. And as you are thinking about that, I encourage you to be careful with it. It might not be as easy as it seems. And while you're thinking about that, check out some of these cool books that I've written. Your extra hint for the day is that you are going to use backward induction, which is the subject of Chapter 2 of Game Theory 101, the complete textbook. Ready for the solution? Before thinking about whom to remove, it will help to work out the basic incentives of the game with everyone on the tracks. Because the ninja observes the pirate's move when he makes his decision, he should think about maximizing under the case where he actually has to make the move. In other words, ignoring everything that's happened before and just maximize over this south versus east decision because the ninja wants to minimize the number of ninjas on the track that's hit, he's going to choose to go east because there are two ninjas there, as opposed to going south and having three ninjas get hit. Working backward, the pirate should not think about the full game. Instead, he should anticipate that the ninja will ultimately choose east, and as a consequence, he can just consider this reduced game instead. Now if the pirate goes south, three pirates will be in the way, and if he chooses east, the ninja will then choose east as well, and five pirates will be in the way. Three is smaller than five, and as a consequence, the pirate should go south. Based on that, the rest of the puzzle is simple. The pirate goes south at the beginning, and as a consequence, before the trolley is loose, he should spend his time removing two of those pirates directly below him. As a result, only one pirate will ultimately be hit. Or can the pirate do better? Let's talk about the mechanism that drives the behavior in the original game. This is a commitment problem. Let's look at the outcome where the pirate goes south at the beginning to the outcome where the pirate goes east and then the ninja goes south. The outcome that actually occurs in this interaction sees three pirates get hit and six ninjas get hit. In contrast, the alternative outcome sees four ninjas get hit and zero pirates get hit. As a consequence, both the pirate and the ninja are better off in the alternative outcome than the outcome that is actually played in the interaction. Unfortunately, we cannot reach that mutually better outcome. The reason is that if the ninja has an opportunity to move, it's in his own best interest to go east, not south. That is, he cannot credibly commit to that south strategy, which is vital for the pirate to want to go east. And because the ninja cannot credibly commit to south, the pirate's hand is forced, he chooses to go south at the beginning, and as a consequence, we have a bit of a disaster for everyone. If only the ninja could credibly commit to going south, the problem would go away, and the pirate could rest easy and choose to go east instead. And that's the trick to the problem. The pirate should not remove pirates from the track. He should remove ninjas instead. Specifically, two ninjas from this part of the tracks. If he does that, the ninja will want to go south 
not east. There's one ninja south versus two ninjas going to the east. As a consequence, when the pirate chooses to move, if he goes south, three pirates will be hit, and if he goes east, no pirates will be hit. As a consequence, we can get to that outcome that is better for both parties. Now only two ninjas are getting hit, and zero pirates are going to be in the way. The interesting lesson here is that in strategic interactions, you might actually be better off not helping yourself, but helping someone else. That can make that individual be more inclined to take a cooperative action later on, and as a consequence, you are ultimately better off. Did you catch the trick? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Take care.